everybody. I'm doing a review video for um, the four products that I use in my hair. Um, I've used them for a while and I'll let you know what I think about them. So first I want to talk about my shampoo by Organics. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews about these or this particular shampoo and um, I've had this for I think a year now. Yeah, a year and I like it. Um, it's sulfate free. Um, it has argan oil or Moroccan argan oil and it does the job. It cleans my hair. Um, it leaves it moisturizing and shiny or moisturized and shiny. Blah, blah, blah. And um, what else? What else? Um, I think I've made a great investment in this. Um, I got it at Target and it's like six dollars, no more than eight. And um, it smells really good. It doesn't smell like chemicals or anything. Anything. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the Organic Renewing Mor Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo Sulfate Free. Um, so I'll make sure to put all the information about the products in the information bar, in the details bar, in the down bar, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, so um, this is shampoo. Next I have the Original Mane and Tail Olive Oil Complex Herbal Grow Conditioner. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Um, I've been using this for almost a month now. Um, I started using this because on Tumblr I challenged myself um, to 20 days without straightening my hair. And I know I've been on YouTube for that while, for for a while. But um, I usually wear my no, I always wear my hair straight. Um, my first first YouTube video, you can see that my hair is straight. Um, so I was like, let me see, let me challenge myself and see if. Um, I can go without straightening my hair for the rest of, what was it, April. So April 10th, I stopped straightening my hair, I, you know, washed my hair so it was curly, and um, April 30th, I survived, and I am still surviving actually. So, um, I washed my hair with the Argon, or the Moroccan Argon Oil Shampoo by Organics. And then I would either use this as a leave-in, well no, not either, I would use this as a leave-in. Um, it's uh, a great conditioner. It holds my curls, which I love. Um, it's easy for me to comb through my hair when it's in. Um, what else? So that's called slip. Um, so yeah, the slip is great. My hair doesn't seem dry. It seems very moisturized. Um, and what else? Um, it smells pretty good. I would sometimes I would mix this with the um what is it Pantene um conditioner for relax for color girls relax relax and natural look relax and natural I can't talk um and the combine combining the two would probably be not so great because they both have cones in them and I'll talk about that in a different video but this cone is like Nice down the hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eighth on the list. So it's not that bad. And I think the thing about this conditioner and this shampoo is this shampoo without sulfate, I didn't I don't know if I mentioned that, it's sulfate free. This shampoo removes the the methicone that is in it in this conditioner. So with the two, my hair still stays moisturized. It's not stripped or dried out from the sulfate because there are no sulfates in this shampoo. But the conditioner um, does a great job. It does what it needs to do. I got this from a friend. She just gave it to me. Um, it came with a shampoo, but the shampoo has sulfates in it, so I decided not to use it. Um, but I don't know how much it is, but I can look and I can find out where you can get it. Um, and I'll put that in the detail. Another box. product that I like is the um, Funky Fro Coils and Ringlets Jamaican and Mango Lime Transition Cream. Yeah. So even though I'm not transitioning, oh, well, this is what it looks like. Even though I'm not transitioning, I am natural. I've been natural for five or six years. Um, I love this because. When I comb this through my hair, one, it smells really, oh, it smells really good. Oh, it smells good. 
Yeah, it smells really good. <laughs> um, when I comb this through my hair, it defines my curls. Um, I didn't use it today, which is kind of bad. I was in a rush. I had to go somewhere early in the morning. But I didn't use it today. But on my Tumblr, some of my Tumblr pictures, um, random. So on Tumblr, I'll take pictures of my hair, um, especially during my 20-day straight hair strike that I was talking about earlier, and, um, that was so unattractive. And so, um, yeah, I would take pictures of my hair, but I didn't say what products I use. So I should start doing that, saying it's either a wash and go or a second-day hair, and then I use such and such a product. Anyway, sidebar. I use this to hold my curls, to define my curls, because I have cur I have curls and coils and all types of combinations of hair in here, and so um, I like for them to be shown off. Um, uh, yeah, so this helps define my curls, and with the conditioner, it keeps the curl the curls keep. No, no, I can't talk. Curls keep. So I really like this. This was given to me by the same friend that gave me the conditioner, um, by Man and Tail, so I don't know how much this is, I don't know where to find it, but I can do the research for y'all, and put it in the details bar, um, so, um, y'all can find it, but it probably can't be any more than, like, ten dollars, cause, yeah. Oh, and let me show you, um, it's more like a pudding, rather than a, that, rather than a cream, well, no, I don't know. It doesn't move when I shake it, but it smells really good. And I've had it for a month now. Yeah, same time as the conditioner. So I've had it for a month, and that's what's left. And this is like, so you know how people that are have relaxers or um, yeah, they get relaxers or perms or whatever you want to call them. That's their creamy crack. This is my creamy crack. <laughs> um, I use it almost every day. Every day that I wet my hair or wash it. This is my creamy crack. The Jamaican mango and lime transition natural curl cream stuff. And my other creamy crack. Oh yeah, this is really, I'm addicted to this. This shea butter um, by Cantu. It's a leave-in conditioner. My nose is just. Leave-in conditioning repair cream by Cantu. Um, this is also found at Target. I've had this for a while. I'm trying to think of how long I've had it. I can't remember. But one little thing. A little nice little anecdote. I used to straighten my hair all the time. That's why I started the 20 day straight hair strike. So I could stop straightening my hair. When I did straighten my hair, I would use this stuff every two weeks. That's how often I wash my hair when it's straight. Wash it, condition, you know, let it, well not towel dry, t-shirt dry. And then section my hair off into four parts. Comb this puppy through or stuff through. And then add whatever stuff, products I need to put in my hair to straighten it. And my hair was shiny, it was flowy, silky. Like, many times I would get asked if my hair was weave because of the quality of my hair. I have some pictures I can probably post, but I don't think you guys want to see it. Um, but yeah, so this is a leave-in conditioning repair cream. Um, before I put in the conditioner, I put this in my hair section my hair off in four, well not four, like six parts just so that my curls are more defined. This leaves my hair very soft. Um, it says stop the mid -hair, men's hair breakage, repair split ends and reduce frizz. My hair still frizzes because it's curly and be, maybe because I like to touch it a lot. But anyway, protect hair from heat damage, which I think it does when I do flat iron my hair. Excuse me. That was gross. Hydrate and moisturize with shea butter and natural oils. 
So, I think it does its job, other than the first part, because that's me. But, um, yeah, I, I like this. I think it's probably about, I, I don't know how much it is, but you can find it at Target and Walmart. And Cantu has a whole line of products. Shampoo, conditioner, but I will say that for anyone that's willing to try it that has curly hair, their shampoo has sulfate in it. Their conditioner has cones in it. So, you know, you're going to be going through that cycle that I talked about in my wash and go video. Um, about that sulfate and cone uh, cycle. Yeah, just be careful. I don't know if there's any cones in here. I should look. Yes, there is. But it's okay, because my shampoo gets rid of the coat. But anyway, um, yeah, they have a pomade and a daily moisturizer. So, Cantu, I like this. I'll use this. I haven't tried anything yet. But, um, yeah, I still don't know how much it is. I've been thinking about it the whole time. I don't know. But, <laughs> um, I will definitely do the research and find how much it is at Target and Walmart. And I will definitely put it in the details bar for y'all. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's my daily, every other day, weekly, whatever you want to say, however you want to call it, regimen. Shampoo, condition, well, weekly shampoo, but every other day, every Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah, Tuesday and Thursday because I wash on Saturday. Um, conditioner. The Jamaican stuff in the can too, um, and go. And then once I do my hair, I don't touch it. I touch it once it's dry. I don't touch it while it's drying. And I'll talk about that later. So, um, let me know how you guys feel about these products if you have used them. Also, um, what they've done to your hair. If you don't like them, if you do like them, an alternative, something better. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.